So what I'm doing is uh, doing a series of videos pointing out the uh, goalposts that moved in special relativity. And now I'm picking up another example about the one way and two way light speed. So Einstein's special relativity theory presented by him in 1905 is supposed to be based on two postulates. It's the uh, principle of relativity and about the constancy of light speed. And when I'm talking about light speed will mean in a vacuum uh, free of influence of fields such as gravity. And by postulates we take them to mean assumptions. Going by the English translation of Einstein's 1905 paper, which is the usual one on the, presented on the internet, the uh, paper is entitled On the Electrodynamics of Moving Bodies. It says, in agreement with the experience, we further assume the quantity to be a universal qu constant, the velocity of light in empty space. And it then gives this equation. But I found a better translation from this person. And according to this person, the translation is further we take it that the quantity is a universal constant, the two two way speed of light in empty space. Now what he's got in square brackets two way is not in the original German. He's making that interpretation onto uh, the German and then he's adding it to the translation he's making. So comparing the two translations, the first translation is saying in agreement with the experience you further assume the quantity to be a universal constant this velocity light in empty space but he's saying further we take it that the quantity is a universal constant the two-way speed of light in empty space so putting aside the issue of velocity and speed what he's talking about is a two-way light speed and it's not as opposed to what the usual translation is saying And the equation is then being clarified by these extra terms of the extra terms being of one way and two way light speed. I've gone done a video going into detail about the one way and two way light speed, but in any case, Wikipedia explains that Einstein's relativity now is, is understood that way by the two way and the one way light speed. And this is a quote from Wikipedia. When using the term the speed of light, it's sometimes necessary to make the distinction between its one-way speed and its two-way speed. The one-way speed of light from a source to a detector cannot be measured independently of a convention as to how to synchronize the clocks at the source and the detector. What can, however, be experimentally measured is the round-trip speed or two-way speed of light from the source to the detector and back again. So basically what it's talking about, two-way light speed is you, you emit light, it goes a certain distance, it bounces back from say a mirror and the time it comes back to the source, you, you uh, note and then you, uh, the distance is there and back, so it's two-way light speed. But you're not actually measuring the one-way light speed which is from the source to covering a certain distance to the mirror. You're not having measured that speed. And so this is the gone into more detail in my video. But so basically when Einstein talks about the speed of light in his 1905 paper, it then has to be now clarified by talking about one-way light speed and two-way light speed. And that's not in 
something Einstein does in his paper. Einstein did not use the terms one-way and two-way light speed in his 1905 paper. Bringing in these extra terms that are not readily available in the German to be translated into the English still amounts to moving the goalposts. And moving goalposts is usually deemed a fallacy. Moving the goalposts is an informal fallacy in which evidence presented in response to a specific claim is dismissed and some other often greater evidence is demanded and in this case Einstein is talking about light speed in the 1905 paper and then suddenly we have to now move the goalposts and interpret it in extra terms of one way and two way light speed something Einstein never talked about So this is uh, Karl Popper. He is a very influential uh, philosopher of science. Uh, he, he believed that a scientific theory should be able to be put to a test and potentially be falsifiable if making wrong predictions. Now, unfortunately, we have to accept that special relativity is not that type of theory. It does not make a definitive prediction because its goalposts keep moving as given here by example one way uh, light speed versus two way light speed. Other examples of moving like moving goalposts I'll be, I've presented in other videos and it means basically extra things get added to special relativity and it gets modified ad hoc. Thin. Thank you.